Continuing on with part two, we will now discuss the course purpose, objectives, and modules in much more detail. We will also discuss the certification process and how to get help. The purpose of this academy is to build on the DHIS2 knowledge that has been presented within the DHIS2 Fundamentals course. It will provide additional information on working with individual level data with an emphasis on working with event programs. It will also provide hands-on experiences in creating event data outputs and configuring event program metadata within DHIS2. We will also review real-world use cases to help solidify the concepts that are being learned. Lastly, it will also introduce DHIS2 tracker programs. Note that this will be a brief introduction as this is not the focus of this course. The main objectives of this course include explaining the different mechanisms that can be used to collect event program data, describing the event program data model in DHIS2, demonstrating an understanding of event programs analysis applications by producing tables, data visualizations, and maps, describing the process of customizing event programs and demonstrating this understanding by creating an event program in DHIS2, and describing tracker program use cases and being able to differentiate them from event programs. The Event Fundamentals Online Academy consists of seven modules. Module one is an overview of the course and will give you information on how to get started with the course, log in to our DHIS2 systems, and introduce yourself to other course participants. Module 2 is an introduction to event and tracker program concepts. Module 3 reviews how we can collect event program data, both on the web as well as using Android devices. Module 4 looks at the data analysis of event programs, focusing on creating a variety of outputs using the inbuilt tools provided within DHIS2. Module 5 reviews the configuration of event programs, allowing you to actually create your own event program by the end of this module. In Module 6, we will briefly introduce tracker use cases. Once again, it is a brief introduction as this is not the focus of this course. Lastly, in Module 7, we will wrap up the course and discuss next steps. Now let's take a look at the key elements of each individual module. In Module 1, first we will review the course as a whole. This includes covering some practical information before we introduce the training environment itself. Next, in Module 2, we will introduce tracker concepts through an initial presentation, reviewing both event and tracker programs. In this module, we will also provide an explanation of a use case and how it applies both more broadly to DHIS2 as well as within this course. In Module 3, we will review how to enter data in a web browser as well as on an Android device. Next, in Module 4, we will dive into data analysis using the event reports, event visualizer, and maps applications before reviewing the joint analysis of event and aggregate data. Advancing through the course, in Module 5, we will explore the event data model as well as how to create event programs. Then, in Module 6, using Tracker, we will review Tracker program use cases. In order to do this, we will use a tool called Tracker Capture. Finally, to conclude this course, we will review future learning paths by discussing other training that is offered, how you can follow Tracker development to see the new features that are available for events and Tracker programs, and finally discuss where you can receive additional support. Now let's discuss how you will be able to obtain a certificate for passing this course. The course consists of both quizzes and assignments that contribute to your final grade. In order to pass, you must receive an overall grade of 80%. By passing this course, you will receive a certificate and will then be able to take the Level 1 Tracker Academy. We can break down the assessment process in more detail. You will have graded quizzes and assignments in modules 3, 4, 5, and 6, as is outlined here. You must complete all of the graded assessments 
to be eligible for the certificate. This information is also available for review within the course outline. Detailed instructions for each assessment will be available within each module, and you will start to understand them more thoroughly as you go through the course. We have structured the course to be around 25 hours of self-paced study, including watching the video presentations and demonstrations, as well as completing the hands-on activities, assignments, and quizzes. Note that this is a conservative estimate and is meant to represent the upper boundary of effort. As every learner is different, you may find yourself taking more or less time to complete the course. However, this should give you some idea of the relative time commitment you will need to make when taking this course. Facilitators will be there to help you every step of the way. If you have any questions, use the discussion board. Instructors will try their best to reply within 24 hours. We encourage you to use the interactive platform as much as you can and learn from or even help guide your peers. For personal queries, you can contact the DHIS2 Event Fundamental Support Team via the email displayed on screen. We really hope that you will enjoy this course and we look forward to interacting with you online further.